Ah, uh, yes. Hello, YouTube, BitChute, whatever you're watching this on, Odyssey. Yes, I do have an Odyssey now. Um, today we're going to be discussing something, uh, something that's, that's kind of sad, to be honest. Um, we're going to be talking about Dark Novia, who is uh, another member of the Star Wars fandom, apparently, um, and who is a, as it turns out, a rabid lefty, um, as you saw, most of you saw in my, uh, most recent stream, the Kyle Rittenhouse thing was, was just a huge, huge issue that most of the country was, was split on, even though I don't see why they were, I mean, the video was available for the most part. Um, to the public, the trial was widely publicized, so, I mean, well, I, I guess if you're still listening to Legacy Dinosaur Media, who's gonna tell you all kinds of lies and, you know, they only, you know, sensationalize stories to get, to get, uh, <clears throat> to get viewing eyes to tune into their network, um, you know, if you're still listening to these archaic forms of, uh, of news media, then, I mean, I guess, yeah, you would have, uh, your perspective colored by disinformation. Um, well, you know, I, it just... You know, it saddens me. Just three years ago, I mean, this this kid, I, I knew he was he was a uh, a lefty, somewhat left leaning, but I never figured out that he was, you know, like full blown commie Antifa. You know, yeah, I I I do want gangs of, of commies coming to your neighborhood and burning it down and then calling them peaceful protesters. Yeah, I, like, I, just, he literally is, he has exposed himself in these past couple of weeks as just the epitome of what an NPC is. That's why this, this, this year's Christmas roast is dedicated to this clown. And I, I, I'm sorry, but dude, it, like this, I, I've tried to avoid calling this this guy out for a while. I mean, knowing that he was, you know, kind of going down the SJW path, but you know, it's he's worse now. He's he's just full blown communist, you know. And it's just like, dude, we we don't we don't we really don't like these ideologies in in our fandom, um, especially. You know, I know he tries to act like, oh, well, wokeism is something different from communism. It literally is. It literally stems from the same root as communism. Cultural Marxism, dude. Uh, imagine being... <laughs> imagine being so brainwashed by, uh, by commie propaganda that you're, that you're just like... Oh, well, you know... The liberals, they're, they're, they're like a different sect of, you guys are all the same. You guys are all the same. You, you want, you want the same kind of, uh, censorship, the, the same gulags. You, you want power, you know, you, you want power over those that, that oppose you. And then when, when they demonstrate that they're not going to fuck around and sit, sit around and let you kill them then oh shit we're the victims we're the we're this and that and oh we're we're so you know we're so oppressed the the evil capitalists they did this to us and dude what the fuck man i, I mean it's just like <sighs> if sorjack were were a star wars fan he would probably be dark Dr. I don't know if you if you've ever seen those uh, soy jack memes, the wool jack, the soy jack memes. Yeah, it probably be Doc Snow. He literally has a um, <laughs> KGB <laughs> banjo and kazooie uh, logo. 
showing showing his support for the KGB. I mean, I mean he outright says it. I think I'm going to move on to the political part of my stream. So for those of you, and I'm referring to 100% political, for those of you who prefer my politics, I suggest you leave now because I'm because I'm actually going to move on to the political half of the stream. So for those of you who, who opt out at this point, farewell, and I'll see you guys next time. All right. Now that I'm in the political half of the stream, I'm just changing the avatar to, you know, KGB, Banjo, and um, Kazooie. The fuck? And it's just like, he calls, <laughs> he calls Kyle Rittenhouse a supporter of Hitler. <sighs> like, what? What? Does anyone who is following this trial believe that nonsense? Does anyone who actually believe that? I mean, you know, just, bruh. You, you don't even, you didn't even bother to look at the details of the trial. You're just as bad as every other SJW out there. And you went from, in like maybe 20, 2017 saying, Oh, you know the irony of of calling Star Wars Legends fans the alt right is that we are probably the most diverse part of the Star Wars community, not to mention the most educated. If any part of the Star Wars fandom is racist, is these people that support these new movies and blah blah blah. This is you saying this. So in response to one of my videos. And then all of a sudden it's just like <clears throat> Rittenhouse supporters are no different from, from the supporters of Hitler and Pinochet and, and Mussolini and just every... The Israeli Prime Ministers? Really, dude? Joe Biden, Donald Trump, and, and, and many other fascists in the past and present. What? Then who is not a fascist? Really? Everyone is a fascist, dude? Oh, God, man. If you're going to tell me to cope, get over it, and be lost, fuck off. We defeated our kind before, and we will do it again. Who is we, dude? Who is we? Please tell us. Who is we? Because I guarantee you, your ass hasn't done anything. Um, <laughs> hasn't fought anyone. Like, communists, all they know how to do is lose. All they, all they do is lose. Uh, they either take advantage of, of um, the only way a communist can win really is to take advantage of division in the country that they're in <laughs> but for the most part all they do is get capped I mean look look at the I don't know if any of you have been paying attention but uh, you know China of course has been trying to fund these uh, communist revolutions all over the world uh, fund um uh, organizations like Antifa and, um, and all, all these different Confucius Institutes and shit like that, like just pumping propaganda into, into different countries, um, to make people like Dark Snovia turn into ranting, raving, lunatic commies <laughs> so that they can fight the war for the CCP. So they could be the good little foot soldiers, the good little bitches of the CCP. And Dark Snovia has, oh, he's he's taking it hook, line, and sinker. And he, he wants to talk about other people? Like, let's see, on this list, uh, let's see, Hitler and Mussolini. Churchill, though? Really? Churchill? Donald Trump? What, what did... They only call Donald Trump a, a fascist because that's the safe thing to do. That's the safe opinion to have. That's the safe opinion that every other mainstream outlet has, has about Donald Trump. Their nemesis, Donald Trump. Yeah, oh, yeah, Orange Man was so bad. I mean, like, you know, he only made us oil, oil de independent, you know, energy independent, and um, almost ended the war in the Middle East. Yeah, until Joe Biden came along and fucked it up. Yeah. <laughs> and of course he hates Israel. Like I don't get why all the all, why all these commies hate Israel. I mean like, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Israel, but like I don't hate them. Like, you know, I I'm just kind of indifferent towards them. Yeah. 
Pinochet, of course, yeah. The commies get mad when they lose. So, you know, people like Pinochet, who was protecting his country from, from fucking... Offered, he offered you free stuff, though. He offered you free helicopter rides. My God. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, but Mussolini and Hitler. Okay, let, let's get to Mussolini and Hitler. I'm not even going to talk about Churchill because we, we, we know that's bullshit. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, really, like, everyone else on that list, like, I don't know, maybe Pinochet, but, like, they get, they get so upset when, like, it's them, when, when, when someone rises up against them, you know, and kills them <laughs> like, before they can fuck up the country. <laughs> <laughs> oh we oh no we didn't get a chance to fuck this country up no this guy is an evil dictator no <laughs> like nigga do you know what what the what mao and the fucking communists did in, in china nigga like the fuck uh, oh yeah pinochet pinochet might have been been a fucking mercy yeah <laughs> And Pinochet is like one example of where, you know, they actually killed off the commies before they could fuck the country. <laughs> like, you know, it, it, people, the communists can only thrive when you use kid gloves. When you use kid gloves and you don't just stomp them out because they're going to fuck the country up and turn it into a fucking dictatorship. Yeah. And that's what people like Dark Zenobia, that's what they want. It's just, and they think it's all fun and games because they think that they're going to be part of the ruling hierarchy. Okay, let, let's look at Hitler and Mussolini. Okay, fascism. Okay, national socialism, um, to be exact. Okay, national socialism um, stems from this in communism. They both stem from the same tree. National socialism, um, fascism. And, um, wait, 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 aren't they the same? No, no, they aren't necessarily the same. You see, National Socialism was like, okay, uh, socialism through the lens of national identity. Communism is, uh, is just fascism without the, uh, uh, with, with, a bunch of idealistic bullshit on top of it like oh yeah like we totally will get free shit and this is totally for the people this is totally not for us <laughs> the elite ruling class i just want to replace the old ruling class like no 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 this is this is just this is just everything everything is gonna be freaking great like <laughs> oh man <clears throat> and there's a third one that i'm forgetting I don't know if that's, if that's the trilogy or um, I'm the trinity of socialistic ide ideologies, but um, yeah, they are both connected. They really are. Yeah, and it's like they like to think that they're two sides of the same coin, but no, they really are not. They both stem from uh, the collective identity, collectivism. And Hitler even says it that it's it's socialism. <laughs> like, like nigga, it's socialism. Like it's not. <laughs> it's, uh, oh man, I'm, I'm beginning. I'm beginning to sound like uh, like a certain Rosenbaum. <laughs> Shoot me, nigga! Shoot me, nigga! <laughs> Shoot me, nigga! <laughs> oh, yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse was like, okay, okay, I'll shoot you. But yeah, it's amazing how they jumped up to defend this guy. Dark Zenobia. And it's just like, you're defending a pedophile. Okay, because he was part of the commie mob. And that means that you guys can't go around LARPing as Antifa thugs. You know, like like the typical thugs in, in, in an old school fucking 80s, <laughs> 80s karate movie or some shit. Like... Like the typical bad guys <laughs> out of some cartoon, cartoon action cartoon or some shit. Like, yeah, it's it's just like they don't realize how cringe they are. Like, oh yeah, we're we're part of the revolution. <laughs> Fuck man. Oh, oh dude, it's gotten so bad. It's just like. 
people can't see just how how badly they're be, they're being manipulated or being brainwashed. It's just like really you can't you can't realize that this is propaganda. <sighs> but anyway, en- enough about that. Yeah, you know, because I, I, I'm sure you know Doc Novia will, will will plead and you know. Be like, no, no, I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a pedophile. I don't stand with pedophiles. Yes, you do, bro. And if you knew the details of the case, I mean, thank God for uh, this kid, you know, um, exposing this clown uh, for who he really is. <laughs> I mean, um, uh, what's his channel? Oh wait, hold on, let me look it up real quick. Yeah, so this guy, uh, Lightsaber, Lightsaber328, the man. Yeah, so he, he, uh, he's basically been, been the anti-Dark Novia exposing this clown. Um, but yeah, he's, he's been showing basically the dark side. Of this, so- <laughs> of this soy boy. I'm looking. I'm looking at the, uh, the thumbnails. Dark Novia thinks Christians hate poor people. I mean, just look at this dude. I mean, honestly, he's. I should have known from the start, but like, yeah, he, he's just the most soy. He reeks of soy, but um, he, he just he just has loads of videos exposing this guy, um, spreading you know him spreading lies about freaking um capitalism and <laughs> threatening every him threatening people and shit i'm just like bruh like <laughs> holy shit man i, I mean it, i didn't think that dox novia was has been on the deep end for this long i mean dang it was just <laughs> he's been reading and screeching about about shit for for quite some time but yeah, it's a small, it's a small channel. But yeah, I mean, give him a, a follow or a like, man. I mean, this dude, uh, lightsaber the man, or you know, he's he's been he's been putting in work, you know, exposing Dark Snovia. Once, once he, uh, once he was like, he flipped out on me. Uh, in one of my videos, <laughs> talking about how I'm a racist and a fascist for uh, for supporting Donald Trump. I mean, like he's the only one that was actually saying, like, "Yo, maybe we should treat China as a threat, like instead of bowing to them." And like, you know, <laughs> once I once I saw how 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 vehement the the media was in trying to persecute Donald Trump, I was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm gonna vote for this motherfucker. Like, fuck all these guys. You know, once I saw how all the right people were pissed off that he was, uh, that he was president, I was just like, yeah, you know what? I made the right decision. But, you know, he's, he's the type of person that would support like establishment cronies like i'm i'm willing to bet that he would have he would have voted for hillary clinton another establishment puppet that would have kept us in the middle east for another eternity you know and not giving a fuck like look at what joe biden just did like like, look at afghanistan dude trump was willing to get us out of there but because they they fucking hate trump the establishment hates trump with a passion they did they they just hate the fact that he that some outsider who's not part of the little political circle jerk can come in and have and be a success a success look at how how well our economy was doing now look at our economy our economy is shit right now Okay, and, and people are, are pretending like like everything's fine. No, our economy is shit right now. Yeah, and it's just like okay, are we better off under under Joe Biden? The establishment can't. It's funny how he he calls Joe Biden a fascist. I don't know why. I mean, Joe Biden was, was uh, you know, it, wasn't he your lord and savior from evil Trump man? I mean, or was it Bernie? I mean, because you know Bernie, <laughs> Bernie is just as much an establishment crank as, as, as anyone. You know, Bernie is is probably the biggest capitalist. He's out there milking money from you socialist idiots. Yeah, <laughs> he's out there milking you for all your worth. No refunds, bitch. <laughs> no refunds. 
Yes. <laughs> and, you, and you're still like, you would still show for him. But anyway, let, let's let's delve deeper. Anyway, let's look at this. Look right in the house up. Also, his crying was so dang funny. Oh, and Dark Sylvia, I don't know if you know this already, but Kyle's mother was interviewed on Fox News. She believed that Rittenhouse had to do it all over again the same way he would. Of course, he would want to lock up the kid who killed the pedophiles. This is who this kid runs with. This is who you run with now? Really? This is the people on your video now? These are the people who apparently frequent his channel. Socialism for all. <laughs> America should go down in flames if Rittenhouse gets off. America needs to be really. I talked about this and everything I said in that, you know, stream. I stand by now. And I'm going to be talking about a serious topic. And I will get into further detail about this because let's be, I'm just going to be re real here regarding the, the current situation in, in the United States regarding fascist violence. And I, the reason why I'm bringing this up because for all of you, for those of you who've been living under a rock, you know, last year, Kyle Rittenhouse killed two people and he's, a hero to the, to the far right. He has a lot of fucking supporters on the far right. And who is Kyle Rittenhouse? He's a kid that crossed yeah, that crossed the borders to, to fuck you know to, to carry it. Really? He didn't even get the gun from his own the say he was living in he got he got his gun from his friend who lived in 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 Kenosha okay so it wasn't like oh he crossed state lines and he did something illegal oh. it's just like they want to be mad at the right so bad that they make up all kinds of sh stupid narratives just to justify their pro their point of view their their own confirmation bias it's just like the situation is simple. Some pedophile is charging at you with a gun. What do you do? What are you doing? Some child rapist is coming at you screaming that he's going to kill you with a gun. What are you going to do? A mob is screaming, kill him, get him. And you're a 17 year old kid. Your only defense is the gun. You're going to sit there and make excuses for a violent mob. You're going to sit there and really make excuses for a violent mob, Dark Zenobia. I didn't know you rolled like that. Really, I didn't. I'm, I'm, I, didn't I didn't know you were that far gone, man. Really? Really? Come on, man. You're going to sit there and make excuses for a pedophile? Really? With your cage? Really? KJ? KJ? <laughs> I mean, that's like not even clever. <laughs> it's not, it really isn't clever at all. And you're allowing these weirdos into your streams. Like once I, like, I knew he was a lefty, but like, yeah, I didn't know he was like, oh yeah. Like KGB was told, totally did nothing wrong. You know, with all the gulags and stuff. That's just propaganda, bro. You know? <laughs> I bet he thinks that too. A military grade weapon in order to s support anti-protesters. And freaking got support from from fucking fascist militias. And you're going to hear the stereotypical thing from the right. Kyle Rittenhouse was defending himself. Yeah, well, if you're defending yourself, why the fuck do you need a military-grade weapon? Why do you need that? To a bunch of, of unarmed protesters. We have the footage of these guys attacking him with a skateboard, jump kicking this kid. One of them pulled a handgun and got his arm vaporized, his bicep vaporized. 
Why does he need a, a, a military grade weapon to defend himself against commies like you? That's why he needs a military grade weapon because commies like you would take away his right to defend himself, would leave him to die in the streets to a violent mob. And then even if he did die, you would sit there and be like, oh, well, you know, he deserved it. He deserved it. But no, because your, your commie comrades got a bullet in each one of their heads. Oh, now, now you want to sit there mad. When right wingers die, oh well, pff, they they deserved it. They're all fascists anyway. You know, well, you know what? They deserved it too. They're all commies and psychopaths anyway, right? How 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 does that feel to have have me say that? How does that feel? Yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this is a video I did on Alex Jones uh, from a couple like 2017. All right, and it's basically like when they try when they scrubbed him from the internet, 1984 style. This is the future that people like Dark Snovia want. Okay, they want the absolute power to scrub people, erase their existence. Yeah, if they don't like them, if if of course they don't, they don't like them, but they don't want to be on the losing end though. They don't they don't want to be on the on the receiving end of that though. But they certainly want to do that to other people. Like a bunch of fucking cowards. So anyway, in all of his genius, Dark Snovia says the following on that video. Honestly, fuck Alex Jones. I have no sympathy for him. The only thing that concerns me is independent leftist media will be censored. Alex Jones is nothing more than a right-wing nut with bullshit conspiracy theories. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> no, so you don't want the left wing to get censored though <laughs> but you want alex jones who's just a right wing conspiracy nut even though you know more than just look at the um the twitter the twitter account uh alex jones w's and you'll just see how many how many times this man has been proven right over the past three or four years <laughs> adrenochrome or whatever the, that shit was uh basically people injecting baby blood to live longer yeah that was proven right recently um <laughs> just frogs get turning gay because of the the shit they put in the water that was that was proven right um <clears throat> whole bunch of other shit but anyway anyway let's continue let's continue Honestly, don't champion the free market system if you get all bent out of shape when it works against you because that's what libertarians are in a nutshell. They claim that people should be able to do whatever they want with their private property. And that's exactly what YouTube, Facebook, and a few others are doing. Freedom of speech does not protect you from the consequences of that speech and only applies to the government, not private corporations like YouTube and Facebook. Oh my god. Oh, all right. So anyway, I I respond, you know, that I vehemently disagree with this, and, and I really don't give a fuck what he says. He has the right to say it. If this can happen to Alex Jones, it really can happen to anybody, including Dark Snovia. You see, people like Dark Snovia, they don't want consequences to apply to them. <laughs> they don't want consequences to apply to them, though. Well, they can sit there and talk about consequences for you because they are a bunch of fascist pieces of shit. Dude literally has a KGB profile pic, my dude. That, that should tell you all you need to know <laughs> about them. People like the, like Dark Snovia would be on the side of the Empire. <laughs> he, he would be, uh, he would probably be in the, in the Imperial. That's like... Like, let's say we're in universe, let's say we're in the Star Wars universe, this guy would probably be in support of, uh, of, like, unironically being in support of the Imperial Intelligence. <laughs> he, he would legit be, be in favor of putting down, you know, insurrections, shit like that, like, put, you know, censoring speech, you know, because it, 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 it it's just too crazy, but when when, when people like Chank Uger 
and Rachel Maddow go on TV spouting about Russia, fascism, and this and that. And that's not crazy, though. That's that's not crazy. And, and free speech has cost. They get the fuck out of here. It's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Burning down cities has consequences, too, my guy. Burning down cities has consequences, too, bitch. Like, oh, all these commie faggots. Uh, excuse my French. Sorry, all these commie, all these commies trying to uh, to flex like, oh well, you know, free speech has consequences. Uh, <laughs> yeah, burning down cities has consequences too. You get shot, you get a cap put in you. Tell me if there are consequences for free speech. Is it is it really free though? You know, <laughs> is it really free? And the answer is no, of course. Yeah, this is not communist China where he so desperately wants to be. Let him go live in communist China and try this bullshit. Let's see, see if it works. Try the same bullshit you try over here. Yeah. Let him go to communist China and see how, how shitty it is over there. And then complain. And of course, YouTube is, was throttling his channel. I couldn't even see this comment. That's why I had to pin it. Just to show people how fucking retarded he was, and and so you know I can I can have other people lambast this as well, you know, and, and ratio him to oblivion. Um, but yeah, he was he was freaking out about Alex Jones and shit, you know. I'm like, dude, he has a right to say what he wants to say, you know, but. Well, oh no! When 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 the when the left wing gets censored, oh no! That's that's bad though. That's bad. You know, it turns out Alex Jones is freaking right most of the time. He's right. <laughs> He's just ahead of the curve. <laughs> He's just ahead of the curve. And every every time, I mean, unless you're stupid, I mean, every time you listen to Alex Jones, you know that there's a grain of truth in what he's saying. You know, he's just, it's infotainment. And I prefer that to actual, quote unquote, legit news sources. Because they're not, they have an agenda to push. This guy is, is a humble, humble water filter merchant. This is what, this is what he says about, uh, pedophiles he says all pedophiles should be like shot or some shit but then it's like bro how can you say that how the fuck can you say that and in the same breath condemn Kyle Rittenhouse like just what the fuck but yeah look at what he says pedophiles <laughs> and and pedophile enablers need all be rounded up and shot. Liberalism is a mental disorder. I will die on this hill. This is Dark Snovia. <laughs> At Dark Snovia. <laughs> and I'm just like, dude, you should probably start with yourself if you think this. Then why were you so mad at Kyle Rittenhouse? I mean, just the most logically inconsistent and incoherent babble from anyone in the Star Wars fandom <laughs> just, just where do you stand on any issue like one is like this is how incoherent he is it's just like one minute he's like oh yeah pedophiles deserve to die and shit like that and then but then he's support <laughs> then, then he's supporting the pedophile that attacked Cal Rittenhouse dude he did you a favor he did you a favor dude <laughs> The five-time child rapist, Joseph Rosenbaum. <laughs> Not accused. This guy actually fucked kids. And they had, they had his commie comrade, Gage Grosskrauts, <laughs> on Good Morning America. <laughs> and then he wants to act like, like the left is so oppressed. The communists are, are so oppressed. When they literally have news media shilling for them right now. Okay. <laughs> oh man. Uh, just that's how much we've been infiltrated by these by these bastards. 
where they're literally up there def making martyrs and saints out of pedophiles and and, uh, and, and child rapists. BLM of standing up there with signs with, with gross krauts and uh, and and Rosenbaum with Superman capes on. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? The left wing just going crazy, like Keith Olbermann saying, "Fuck this murderer." N mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh. oh my god. Well, anyway. <sighs> Doc Zenobia, man, I mean, like, like, he's lost it. Dude has lost it. Um, he, he's a straight up pedophile uh, sympathizer at this point. I mean, he, he says that he 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 does he dislikes all pedophiles, and then he turns around and and calls the kid that was being chased by a pedophile with a weapon and threatened by said pedophile with a weapon goes ahead and calls him a fascist that makes sense that that totally makes sense oh but but why did he need an ar-15 <laughs> like just cope man just cope my dude just cope harder please please just cope dude <laughs> Why did he need it? I mean, he was only chasing after him with a handgun. Why did he need an AR-15? Uh, I wanted my soldier, my commie brother to, <laughs> to kill this innocent kid in the streets. Then we would have had a victory. Yay. Like, just, but now there are consequences for our actions. Oh, my God. The humanity. Please, for the love of God, dude. Get some therapy, Doc Sedovia. Get some therapy, dude. A anyway, no presents for you. Uh, this life day or Christmas day or whatever. You're getting cold, my dude. Um, yeah, anyway. Uh, the man. Uh, 328. It's just exposing Doc Sedovia. And his crazy lunatic takes on America. And his crazy ass takes on uh, fucking communism and why communism is great and has never been tried ever before just what the fuck <laughs> oh man <laughs> never been never ever been tried before my guy ever 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 i mean all those revolutions i mean i i mean i, I guess they were just communist light they were they weren't real communism though <laughs> Like, what does it take to get through to, the, to their heads? What does it take? What does it take? Does everyone in the world have to die before they say, okay, maybe communism wasn't such a great idea? Anyway, it's your boy, Coast, and this has been my Christmas roast. Merry Christmas to you guys. And, um, <laughs> you know, it's funny that uh, Dark Novia says that Christians hate poor people. I mean, we, we only donate the, the most. And so poor people, but you know, and it's okay. I mean, in, in a world where Dark Sinovia was our supreme commie leader, <laughs> we would all, all Christians would be dead anyway. <laughs> That's how he would want it. Um, he's such a brainwashed tool. He's such a tool. Anyway, um, it's your boy, Coast. Uh, peace.